Okay, so I was sent this video on Facebook. Apparently, since 360 is divisible by 9, Goud. We don't know for sure, but we do know that it was the Babylonians who divided the circle into 360 degrees. They used base 60 for their numeral system, and 360 is a multiple of 60. Why pick that multiple of 60 instead of some other? Why not 300? Why not 420? Why not 3600? We don't know for sure, but the commonly held belief is that they picked 360 because it's close to the number of days in a year. Yes, regardless of why the Babylonians chose 360, they could have chosen any other number. A circle is 2 pi radians, see? Yes, 360 is divisible by 9, and in base 10, any number divisible by 9 has a digital root of 9. That means if you add together the digits of that number, you'll find that it adds up to a multiple of 9, or 9 itself. And if it doesn't add up to 9 itself, then that multiple of 9, well, you take that one, add up the digits of that one, eventually you'll get 9. If you take a number which is divisible by, say, both 2 and 9, like 360, and then you divide it by 2, obviously the quotient will also be divisible by 9. What's funny is that this rule of 9 is actually the rule of b minus 1 in base b. In base 5 it's true for 4, not 9. In base 16, it's true for 15. In base 28, it's true for 27. The base minus 1. We use base 10. The Babylonians wouldn't have known about this. They would have used the rule of 59, since they used base 60. You haven't discovered anything profound here. No. How could there be? Our numeral system, not number system, numeral system, was invented by us. Then vortex-based mathematics, whatever that is, is wrong. No, it's not meaningless numerology, but it certainly isn't profound. The angles of a polygon always add up to a multiple of 180 degrees. In a triangle, it's 180 degrees, and if you want to add another corner to a triangle, that's the equivalent of attaching another triangle to it. So, you add another 180 degrees. And then you keep going, adding more and more corners, that means adding more and more triangles. Of course you're going to get a multiple of 180 degrees. No, that's not true either. It's actually option 3. It's a logical consequence of definitions and axioms. What? 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 Oh, okay, stop putting fancy words you don't understand into random sequences. No, 9 is simply 1 more than 8. That you don't know what 9 means? Okay, not that it affects the sum, but you forgot 0. That's also a digit. But what's your point? The sum of all single digit numbers added together is 45, which is divisible by 9. So if you remove the 9, I mean, 45 minus 9 is going to be divisible by 9 because it's another multiple of 9. You take a number divisible by 9, remove 9 from it, you're going to get the preceding multiple of 9. What's so amazing about this? 
How is that a paradox? I, I don't think you understand what that word means either. Nine plus a single digit number x will equal 10 plus x minus one. And the, the digital sum of 10 plus x minus one will be one, the one in 10, plus x minus one. One plus x minus one equals x. That's the exact opposite of a paradox. It's a direct, very obvious consequence of the fact that we use 10 as the base of our numeral system. And in base b, it would be true for b minus 1. No, 9 does not equal 36, nor does it equal 0. I don't think you understand what the word equals means either. Look, finding patterns in mathematics is not strange. Finding order in a system designed to be orderly is definitely not a strange thing. It's the exact opposite of a strange thing. So am I saying that mathematics was designed? Is it intelligently designed? D did I just say it? Yes, I said that. Mathematics was designed by us. It's a system based on axioms and definitions that we came up with to make sense of our world, to describe shapes, patterns, relationships, quantities. It wouldn't work without that order. The order that we put in it. Attributing that order to gods or magic or mysticism, all that does is show that you don't have the first damn clue what you're talking about. See so, ya. Yeah.